As we all know, it's Pride Month. And being the patriarchal, misogynistic man that I am, I grabbed my girlfriend and I said, we are leaving the city. I don't want to be anywhere near this zombie hordes of they, them crazy people. What's the best way to share your pronouns with someone at work? Hey, I'm Paige, they, them pronouns. You? Oh, I'm not a ma'am, I'm actually non-binary. These are my pronouns. You will use them or you will not refer to me. And we went to the woods and stayed there. But unfortunately, I cannot stay there forever. So I had to come back to the city and watch this crazy nonsense unfold before my eyes. LGDP, uh, LGT, LBG. Sorry, the uh, L, LB, no, G, where's the T gone? Two. Two LGBTQ2 plus. 2SLGBTQI plus. So I'm gonna show you a few clips that I found online. What I did is I compiled all of them into one video so you can enjoy the craziness and we can laugh together of this people who are completely gone in their heads. So let's start with the first video and then we'll comment after it. Let's see it. This stuff reads like a joke but it's really not funny when you get into the weeds of it. This is limitless self-identity gone mm. bonkers. Yeah, it's um, the very stupid results of a very stupid ideo ideology being rolled out by very stupid people. Uh, we're here, and as a result, biological reality doesn't exist. Well, clearly, this very, very idiotic ideology is causing havoc. Just today, Piers, there's another uh, uh, tape from a school in Scotland where some poor boy is having to explain to his teacher that there's only two biological sexes and that the gender woo-woo stuff is nonsense. Ava, you're laughing. Why? Well, it's just quite amusing, really. I mean, we're talking about children that are 12 and 13. I mean, when I was at school, I had a girl who identified as a horse, but not in this sort of like problematic way that we're now labeling it. She didn't actually think she was a horse. <laughs> <laughs> she was just quite strange and walked around and, you know. But nobody at the voices. school then, no teachers would have tolerated that. What this teacher in Sussex has done, they've said it's not acceptable for boys in that class to take the mickey out of someone who's obviously clearly just a child and who, they're exploring their imagination. Who says they're a cat? Yes, yes, but. Piers, they're 12. And he's and actually I interfering with the lessons by talking in cat language, including meowing, and if people don't go along with this, refusing to cooperate. Yes. That is not just having a bit of fun being a cat. <laughs> that is actually assuming the identity of an animal that this person is not, yeah. and then insisting everybody else conform to it. That is madness. That's not what's happening. <laughs> Gender is something different. Gender identity is how you see yourself. And, and do, you believe course, it's, do you believe it's limitless? No, I don't believe it's limitless. What's the limit? Well, there is basically male and female intersex, but there are people who have different gender identities. No, but how many genders are there? Well, I, 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 there is no fixed number. So what's the limit? I don't see a particular limit. There's no limit. I, so I, so I, when I, you said, there's no, you no, said there is a limit, I, now I, you admit there's no limit. No, sorry. Well, there, there is male and female Is identity. there a limit or not to the number of genders? sex identity. No, that's, that's sex. But On but, gender, is there a limit to the number of genders? Well, there are, there are some people who are asexual. That's an identity. No, no. There are, some the, BBC, people, the BBC has yeah. put in education videos, there are 100 plus genders. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with so that. So what is the limit? What's the number? Well, I'm not going to specify a particular number. Talking plain common sense to a bunch of transgender activists. Men do not menstruate. Only women menstruate. Well, duh. Now you can call yourself Cis whatever you don't want. Menstruate, but trans men do menstruate. No, Same they as don't. non-binary people. <clears throat> Only Menstruating women. Menstruating is not exclusive. Yes. This is how insane this ideology has become. This is what happens when you allow children to be educated by political activists. They live in a fantasy world devoid of any sound basis in reality. And just watch the look of incomprehension on their faces when presented with reality. It's like they've never heard of it before. <laughs> Tell me what a man is. 
Well, what's a man to you? You define a man for me. You have chromosomes that are X and Y. That's what a man is. Well, duh. So why are we just looking at the, 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 the science of this as an the example? Science. When, when we've learned sex and gender identity are two very, they're completely different things. No, no. That's not true. Sex and gender are not completely different things. The way you want to identify in your head has nothing to do with the reality of what you are. You can say you identify as a tree, that doesn't make you a tree. You can say that you identify yourself as a seagull, that doesn't make you a seagull. What you are is what you are. And that is in, that's unmutable, that's unchangeable. You are what you are. You cannot change what you are. Most of all, you cannot change what other people see you as or what other people perceive you as. It doesn't matter what you feel in your head, you are what you are, and that's the end of the story. There shouldn't be any more argument about this. That should be the end of the conversation. I don't know why the society has gotten so far gone that we are actually arguing about basic truths. It's insane. That's completely different. They are completely things. different. Completely different words. And sex <laughs> is what you're born with, the sexual reproductive organs you have. Gender is what you identify with. They're completely different Well, I don't accept things. that distinction. You have to argue for it. You're just giving a conclusion. You're, you're just making it up. People, the people who... The, the look on her face, it looks like she's never been told that ever in her life. And I'm going to say she, because that's what she looks like. I really... She, she, he, they are a bit androgynous, so I don't really know what she is, but she looks like a woman, so I'm gonna say she. The look of complete amazement that she has in her face, it's completely crazy. It's like she's never been presented with the fact that you're either a man or a woman, and that's the end of story. People who hate the truth are because they see, they see the truth as hateful. If, if you want to identify in any way you can, you're free to do so. But that does not mean that the rest of us have to join that illusion. As I said, for stating those simple truths, as well as displaying four transgender flags cut together to look like a swastika. Great representation of their movement, by the way. It's actually, it's actually so funny. The people who say they're the most tolerant, they're the most accepting, they're the most open, it's actually the people who are the less tolerant, the less accepting and the less open in the whole wide world. It's so funny when I hear this, you can't be tolerant with intolerance. Then that doesn't make you tolerant. In what world not being tolerant with intolerance makes you an accepting and open individual? In what world? I don't know. He lost his job and he's now trying to sue the school to get it back. But it's hardly surprising, is it, that this nonsense has spread like wildfire. This is what happens when you devote your entire education system to ideological propaganda, starting really, really young, like this. We want to uplift and celebrate our LGBTQIA plus family, friends and communities. Yeah, that's right, Miss Ariana. <laughs> Soon after, followed by this. They don't want to be called groomers. What is this? If this is not if this is not the perfect depiction of grooming someone since they're young, please somebody enlighten me and tell me what is grooming. Because in my mind, grooming is that, exactly that. That is grooming. There's no other, you know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, a video is worth one million pictures. That is grooming. That's it. That is grooming. End of story. Like, it's just so, um, it's just. Or this. <laughs> And before you know it, you're graduating to free prosthetic penises to all comers of all ages at a trans mm. resistance march. Oh, there you go. Um. Hi. Yeah, 
I keep talking to people about this and when I tell them that there has to be some motivation behind everything that's happening, I always seem to get nowhere because I always tell them this is not accidental, this has to have some reasoning behind everything that's happening and I always try to tell people and I always come to the conclusion that I know this is a bit far-fetched and I could be wrong but if you were our enemy, let's say as a country, as a nation, if, you, if you're the enemy of the West, would you want the population, the men, the women, to be strong, independent individuals that are able to think for themselves, to fend for themselves, to protect their families, their country, or would you want everyone completely divided, completely void of any love for anyone that doesn't think like you? And people sometimes tell me that this is just accidental, so this is the way things unfolded. I don't think that at all. It might, it might be, I might be wrong, it might be crazy, but I do not think that everything that's happening is accidental. There has to be... I'm not saying there is some shadowy people trying to pull the strings, but I am saying that the movement in itself, that was planned. Because if you see the nonsense, the craziness that's happening, it just, this has to be, there has to be an explanation for everything that's going on. I cannot believe that this is accidental. I just cannot believe it. If you were the enemy of the West, you would want the men to be weak, the women to not care about the men. It's, it just makes sense. And before you know it, the kiddies are invited to witness this sort of stuff. And I warn you to avert your eyes if the kids are present and watching at a public pride march on Santa Monica Boulevard recently advertised as oh, yeah. family oh. friendly. I did. Politicians, of course, are always keen to get in on the act, in this case with Sister Roma. So proud of uh, Sister Roma and her work uh, in the community, and I'm proud of California for standing. What is that? Can somebody, what is they, them, what, what, what are they? What are them? What is that? What is that? It looks like a bloody devil. When you see a scary movie, imagining you're in your house, it's 4 a.m., you woke up to go to the toilet, you're walking up the stairs, and you see that walking down the stairs. Jesus bloody Christ. Strong uh, in, uh, to support uh, LGBTQ people. LGDP, uh, LGT, LBG. In California, for any parent who does not affirm their child's transgenderism to be charged with child abuse. Think about that. The parents who want to protect their children from this crazy ideology, from all this grooming, they're the ones that are being called child abusers. And the actual child abusers, the ones that are filling their heads with all that nonsense, are just walking away scot-free. How how does that make sense in a sensible world, in a free world? I don't know. 